Right, so the first thing you wanna do, you can use this default cube or any other mesh you want. Select it, click on object, go all the way down to quick effects and choose smoke, quick smoke. And boom, just like that, we have a nice quick effects. If you like, you can always mess with this, press S, Z and just scale it down and kind of have fun with this, put it in a position where you like or whatever the case may be. For this, but yeah, we're gonna press G, Z, bring this up to the line. And just to make sure it's working right, we're gonna to go to the physics properties and I'm just gonna change the resolution. 64 should be fine and it should reload and be a-okay. Other settings you might wanna play with in your domain, smoke domain. Number one, um, I always recommend using adaptive domain. It makes things a little, a little bit faster. And I would open this up and I'll just increase the amount of resolution to maybe two or three, so you get a slightly better result. The other thing I would turn on is noise to make it a bit clearer. And I would increase the strength to two point, or to three at least. Two, 2.53 should be fine. And we're also gonna make this simulation 70 frames. Always tick is resumable. In this case, we're gonna choose all. And that's pretty much the core settings to, for your smoke simulation. The next part is your cube, which is now, in the physics properties, a flow. Change smoke to fire and smoke or fire. I'm gonna use fire. Make sure it's on inflow, use flow. And uh, there are other settings we could play around with, yeah, but that's pretty much all you need to do. And with that, we can go back to our domain scroll down and we could bake all and i'll see you after the bake right so the render is complete if we press spacebar just to play this you can see your adaptive domain scale to the size that's required and we can see our beautiful flame the problem with this flame is i'm going to pause at frame 40 or so or maybe i'll wait until frame 50 once it's kind of fully formed there we go let's stop at frame 60. Right, the problem with this is if we go to the render viewport, as you know, it does not show. The flame's gone. So, number one, we need to be able to see the flame. And then number two, we need to be able to change the color to whatever color we like. First thing we do is we're gonna lift this up here, which is our timeline. I'm gonna click this over here, and we're gonna go to our shader editor. Make sure you got your domain, smoke domain selected. That is important. And it's very important that you see principled volume. If you don't, you can delete this. Press Shift A, go to Shader, where is Shader now? There we go, Shader, and look for Principled Volume. Chuck that in here and connect the volume to the volume. And there you have your smoke effect. Now, the quick solution, which is the dirty solution, is we could just make the black body intensity and before you know it, we see the flame. Problem with this is that we don't have any effect on the color. So, we're gonna have to bring that down to zero. Now, we're gonna press Shift A, search and i'm just going to type in color wrap here we go chuck this over here and connect your color to your emission color because your emission color the actual emission is in fact the flame and we're going to go to input now and we're going to select an attribute now keep in mind blender is a software that was built in a coding language and that coding language uh, has a very important naming convention. If you don't type in the right name here, in the right case sensitiveness, it won't work. So you must type everything in lowercase, like I'm doing right now, F-L-A-M-E, so it can run through the code and find out what attribute is associated with flame, and once you've done that, you'll be able to mess with your flame. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly one sec, just pause that twice. And now if you wanna add colors, you can just add two colors over here. And for example, if we chuck this over here and we selected, I don't know, yellow, bring it all the way up. Chuck this over here, bring this up here. Select this and make this orange. And the only thing we need to do now is increase the emission strength. So if we make this five, boom, there's our fire. But now you have more power on what colors you want to use. You normally want to have black over there and white over here. 
because the lighter part is the middle which is white the black part when you change this you're going to mess with this all the smoke in this entire area which is no good so if i change this one over here it messes up everything so just keep it all the way down there uh, but you can always add new colors like i'm doing yeah like i'm going to click on this color yeah let's 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 go crazy let's make this i don't know red and then let's make this yellow over here pink and we could mess with this white as well and we just choose a i don't know i guess a lighter pink and uh, i think you get the idea it's uh it's pretty self-evident but uh yeah that's pretty much it so now you know how to change your flame colors make them green go crazy anyways i think we're done yeah you get the idea you can make your flames any color you like uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe